Hey, check out the sponsor for the video. Check out the links in the description. Hey guys, I just got my free sample and sugar cup for the Dubby's energy pack drink. So this is me trying it. I just got it from my PO box and I'm just gonna try and see how it was. Um, let's just take a look at what I got, the samples that I got. As you can see, I have the um, peach, um, the beach and peach. I have the dub sludge, the dragonade, and also galaxy grenade. I don't know which one I'm gonna do, and I got the anime cup to like get the package. <sighs> let, let, I'm gonna try for my afternoon energy boost. Now I'm about to mix my new W pack with Dragonberry. We're gonna see how this tastes. Mm, not too bad. I think I'm gonna sip on this for the rest of the day. I've, it's about three hours till I get off of work and we're gonna see how this actually makes me feel. So small little correction. I actually had the Galactic Grenade earlier. It tastes actually awesome. And um, didn't get the jitteries, I actually drank it over an hour long period and I still got enough energy enough mental focus I guess this is good to go so as you guys know I didn't exactly meet my goal for making content for um, hitting my thousand subscriber goal for October 1st I didn't hit that part of the reasons why because I kind of got a copyright strike in the beginning of the summer and it's just like i didn't want to risk it so kind of like made sure i can do that um i can not face one of those things and it um yeah it kind of fucked with me so i was just like you know what fuck it um but also was kind of like push for a reason like not to really do video uh videos as much because i had a lot of shit going on and um yeah just just stressed and shit but as you guys know, I want to eventually make this into my career. I want to make it where I do video commentary and just have fun. And I was talking with a friend of mine, and I was just showing them how a lot of this content gets made. And um, they kind of understood why I don't focus as much on my art on the channel anymore, but have commentary videos. And um, YouTube is a thing that maybe... When I first started this seven years ago, I probably would have done a few things different. I would have actually put more effort into like thumbnails and titles and all the other good shit. Um, but it can be very frick fickle. And um, I came across this video the other day, and yeah, I did already watch it. And um, this, I found it interesting. So um, let's just watch a little bit of it. Um, we can actually see how making money on YouTube can be a little bit, a little bit daunting. Does YouTube feel different lately? Are you getting slammed with ads on the content you watch? Maybe even this video? Are you frustrated with ads and maybe even irritated with YouTube's monetization system? So yeah, I am very frustrated. By the way, I actually have super chats enabled. So if you actually want to drop a super chat in the video, no, I, I encourage it. Um, I, of course, I read all super chats, um, but I don't have that other monetization. And about what three or four years ago they changed the monetization to needing a thousand subscribers to four thousand um, hours of watch time so i'm still working that myself um but right now i'm basically just doing work for free except for those of you guys who signed up for my patreon and yes sign up for my patreon and i thank you for your support it can be as little as a dollar a, a month shilling aside let's go well, you are not alone. My name is Zach and I love creating YouTube videos, but most importantly, I'm an avid YouTube viewer. In fact, YouTube is my primary source of entertainment. And if you're anything like me, YouTube has felt a little bit off lately. After my last video got over 2.5 million views, you all confirmed my suspicion that YouTube has changed. But something stood out to me faster than- So was it before or after um, the recent president left? Because I know the other guy, he started doing some major changes. There have been some uh, partner programs that I'm a part of that have now become um you know beneficial like i have my merchandise on tvs and on t-shirts and things that down at the bottom and check out some of my art um let me know what you like and of course i can add more 
I can devour a whole pizza, and believe me, that's pretty fast. I received thousands of comments from all of you expressing your frustrations with ads on this platform, and how that is a major part of why YouTube feels different. This problem not only affects viewers, but creators too. It's a complete mess, and it extends past just video ads. It extends past the creator economy. It affects the entire internet. So today, I'm going to expose the truth on why YouTube has an ad problem and clear up all the mystery behind the subject. First, so one of the things, to, one of the real reasons why I have YouTube Premium besides bringing up motherfucking videos and doing it for you guys, but I fucking hate ads. And this is the reason why I cut my cord to my TV. Let's talk about ad types. It's no secret many ads that show up on YouTube are scams. There's multiple Reddit posts, videos, and news articles about this. YouTube's policy against fraud clearly states YouTube doesn't allow spam, scams, or other deceptive practices that take advantage of the YouTube community. But this is true. Um, but at what point is it a scam and at what point is it free speech? Even with this policy, scam ads still exist. People also have reported extremely divisive political ads of varying beliefs across this platform. Okay, I get the donkey, I get the fucking um, elephant, but what the fuck is a porcupine? Is that the Libertarian Party? <sighs> oh wow, okay, it's a real thing. It's a... Uh... Libertarian porcupine, okay, that's what it is. I thought so. Apparently, a lot of things people normally would have zero interest in clicking. If you want nothing to do with politics and are constantly getting jammed with something down your throat, no matter which way you lean, that can be incredibly frustrating. Another issue people have is repetitive ads. I don't know about- Oh yeah, no. This shit right here, this shit pisses me off. So if I've actually played Hero Wars. They're nothing like this. It's nothing like this at all, okay. Fuck, okay, let's go. You, but I'll get the exact same ad over and over and over again. This drives me insane. I don't get it. If you're going to show me ads, at least give me a variety. And now for the core of this video, which is easily the biggest part people are complaining about, ad frequency. You're not crazy when you feel YouTube has increased the amount of ads it shows. Many of you were vocal about this in the comments, but it's not just YouTube commenters. People are taking this issue to Reddit and Twitter or X to voice their opinions. Dead name in Twitter. I mean X. I mean, the company that Elon is currently running into the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. One of the companies that Elon is currently running into the ground. So what's going on here? For starters, in 2021, YouTube revised its terms of service to allow ads to appear on video channels that are not part of the YouTube partnership program. The yeah. So like, basically, I'm not part of the partnership program, but they can put ads on my shit, which is fucking stupid. I'm doing work and they're getting money off of it. And you know what? The sad part about it is... People will say like doing YouTube is not as secure as a corporate job. These are the people that never work corporate jobs in their life. Us increasing the amount of ads on the platform significantly. Yes, all those one hit wonder YouTube videos from 15 years ago now have ads on them, but more on that later. In 2022, an independent study was done by GammaWire.com that found YouTube has increased the amount of pre-roll ads it shows viewers by 45%. Now this study was done last year, so please let me know in the comments if you feel there's been an increase over the last year or not. Now one theory why YouTube is increasing the amount of ads it's placing is due to advertisers. Advertisers have been lowering their marketing budgets over the last year. When a recession occurs, marketing typically goes first. And so yeah, this is actually true. A lot of, a lot of people don't want to spend money on the ads anymore. Shit, taken from somebody who sells art, um, before the uh, pandemic, I actually had a lot more sales on my art and you know, going to different conventions. Now it's, it's not the same. Companies lower their quarterly advertising budgets. Here's a Zoic's ad rate index. This is something advertisers use to compare ad rates over the years. Here's recently, and here's a couple years before. Those are millions of dollars in difference. If YouTube is getting less advertisers to fill their ad spots, they're likely to offer cheaper pricing for advertisers and repeat ads. That way, they can maintain their bottom line. Regardless, it's no secret that the volume of ads on the site is a controversial topic. And before all you YouTube premium users dismiss this whole video and say, Premium user. Then they just raised about like two dollars. Fuck. Hey, oh, just get premium. YouTube premium just went up in price this year. Between paying for it a did. cell phone, internet, maybe Netflix, or any other streaming service, that adds up. And others feel the same. In 2020, less than 9% of all YouTube users in the US subscribed to premium. In recent years, studies show that that number is expected to remain around 9 to 10%. So this greatly affects about 90% of us. With all these streaming services. And you know what? I'm not actually going to sit back and say, oh, just get premium, you dweebs. No, like. Is the reason why I pay for premium, and I'm not gonna lie, I I do not have the patience to sit through ads. Now the fact that I don't have cable kind of helps me out a lot, but I do not have the patience to sit through ads. 
I'm sorry, I do not. Services increasing their price. To me, it's no surprise that not that many people want to pay for YouTube Premium. Now, you might be quick to blame creators in this whole situation because creators determine how many ads you're seeing, right? Well, prepare. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. Prepare for me to blow your mind. Creators actually don't know when an ad is going to play on a video and how many ads you will see. It says right here, and YouTube has confirmed this. This is YouTube's editor. This is where creators can put mid rolls into their videos. It says right here, these mid rolls, these ad placements are not guaranteed. So a creator could put five spots for a mid roll and you could only get one ad. And the I've seen people that do ads, especially on Twitch or or um, or YouTube, they like just dump shitloads of ads to try to get the most and it's just like you just it's like it makes it borderline unwatchable the inverse you could get all five spots triggered and get all five ads it depends on your viewing pattern your own consumer profile how likely you are to click off a video if an ad is by the way if you want to like avoid ads on my video i believe you can avoid ads if you're a member played and more all this information youtube has and creators do not they're guessing. So it's difficult for a creator to know how many of these mid-roll opportunities they should add. I mean, most creators are creating content for free and most viewers want to support their favorite creators, but it's impossible for a creator to know just how many mid-rolls they should add. Most creators want to be fair, but also want to make money. So this situation just creates a massive dilemma. Now, it's not just mid-roll confusion that is a major issue with the system for creators and viewers. A lot of how the system is set up is confusing for most people. Let me share a personal example. If you had to guess how much ad revenue my last video- Wait like literally a million plus is, fuck i need that i need that i need that i need that <laughs> generated which obtained over two million views in less than a week what would you guess a thousand dollars five thousand ten thousand well what if i told you for two million views that video made zero dollars oh uh, oh uh, my heart my motherfucking heart it's true. Let me explain. This isn't about copyright. I didn't break any rules. This is about YouTube's broken monetization system. Before I posted that video, I had 650 subscribers and around 1600 hours watch time. Why does any of this matter? Well, in order to join the YouTube partnership program and get- And yeah, this is- It's such a high barrier for entry for a lot of people that you see the channels that have already gotten it and you think like, oh, it must be easy, but it's harder than what you think. You have to be hitting that algorithm the right way and you have to make sure that you have either uh, you have the thousand subscribers in either one of these two it can be pretty difficult especially if you have if you don't sit down and make videos every day content every day it could be a, da a daunting task um some of the people that got big you never know because they got rid of their own videos on their channel but they really gotten to this point or they had a boost or they worked with somebody and somebody gave them a shout out but let's go get monetized on this platform, you need a thousand subscribers and over 4,000 hours watch time within the last 12 months. Until you get those things, you do not get paid. Now, many of you may have not realized this when you watched that video because you were served ads. YouTube serves ads on those videos regardless if a channel is monetized or not. Like I said, they've been doing that since 2021. So I had tons of comments from people congratulating on me getting the bag. But the truth is from those 2 million views, I didn't see a dime. And for full transparency, now I am monetized. Thankfully, as of Tuesday, I do qualify for my share of ad revenue. Now I'm just one person and that was- Damn, that's fucked up, man. He did a 2 million view video and got shit from it. Wow. Just one video, but this is happening across the platform, which means YouTube is making millions of dollars and leaving creators in the dark. It doesn't help that the monetization process takes a long time. I received enough hours to qualify for the program on Thursday, but it took until Monday for the hours to show up so that I could apply. Plus, once you apply, you have to wait. This could take up to a month, which means small creators could be missing out on tons of money. To me, it's a bad system. I mean, it's counterintuitive as it does not incentivize creators to quote unquote blow up. It makes me wonder how many creators are right about to qualify for monetization and are whole me, 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 God damn it. Holding on to their best ideas because of this. But again, most viewers don't know. A lot of people see creators in YouTube and their videos and assume they're monetized. I mean, it kind of is misleading when YouTube is serving ads on every single video. Now, I don't expect YouTube to remove ads on every video not a part of the program, but at the end of the day, if a channel gets those subscribers and hours, in my opinion, a piggy bank should start. And that creator can receive those funds when they are accepted into the program. And if they are not, YouTube can accept that money and just keep it. But again, the system needs to be approved. There might be an entire month where creators are not seeing a dime of the income they qualify for. YouTube is literally keeping all of it. And for the record, YouTube has made an effort. They lowered the threshold to join the partnership program, but is it really enough? If YouTube- No, no, they did, didn't. They, they lowered the effort for 
super chats, which again, like I, I'm be honest with you, I can get um, I the memberships I can actually get. But when it comes to ad revenue, no, they kept that dish thing the same wants to be a creator first platform, perhaps it should change its approach. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Twitch. I think YouTube is a significantly better platform than Twitch from a creator's perspective. But one thing Twitch does right is channel memberships. With a Twitch channel membership, you can view someone's stream completely ad free. Why can't YouTube do this? Why can't YouTube have a channel membership option for viewers to watch their favorite creators ad free? That would solve so many people's issues. Now, YouTube Premium does pay creators, but it's typically fractions of what typically ad revenue generates. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd much rather pay $4.99 a month to support a creator directly and get their video at free then pay $13.99 for YouTube Premium. There's tons of creators that I watch religiously on this platform. I'd love that. Or what if YouTube created a YouTube Premium Lite version for let's say $7.99 a month where you could pick 10 creators that you can watch ad free. Really there could be lots of consumer and I, I don't know. These sound like good ideas to me creator friendly options. As I said in this video, I love this platform. I just want it to be better. But instead, we are stuck with either paying $13.99 a month or tons of ads, scam ads, repeat ads, and almost no transparency. To me, with all this being said, it's no surprise YouTube Premium isn't that popular and everyone thinks YouTube feels different. Now, I was shocked with how many of you felt the same way I did about the algorithm. And I was even more shocked to see how many of you felt this way about ads. So do you <sighs> fucking hate ads, but let's go. Do you agree? Please let me know. Thank you guys. And I will see you guys next time. All right, well, that was very informative. So if you're an up and coming YouTube star, make sure you hold your best videos until you're very, 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 very close to monetization. Drop that shit and make the back. To be honest with you guys, I really want to make YouTube my career. Not because um, I already talk on the phone all day because I'm in customer service. So it, I wouldn't see it as like, oh yeah, I'm getting a better job and lighter work. I find this more enjoyable and you guys can help me out by liking, subscribing. If you want to tell me to go fuck myself, it's a comment section at the bottom of the video that you can actually go do that.